Hey everybody, welcome back to another short for Gradual Financial Freedom. My name is James Gann and this is part four of that mini episode series of giving you a weekly update on my path. Again, like I said, I'm not a financial advisor. Just use what I have uh, here to kind of help you out. At least it gives you a chance to see what I've done and all the money that I have put aside in here. I just want to make sure I mention to you it is personal money. It is not money that was earmarked for bills or anything else. It's just the stuff that I had put aside for my own personal use. Now that being said, let's go ahead and start week four. That is now 10-7 through 10-11. As you can see, 10-7, red day. So far now, my biggest loss is going to be Maine at $1.93. And my biggest gain so far is cold for 93 cents. 10.8, another red day. Main is down to $2.31 loss, and cold is the, still the best at 65 cents. On 10.9, I didn't get the pick before pre market, but you can see main at least came back up a little bit. Now down $1.98 from the 2.31, and cold is at 64, so it's lost a penny. On 10.10, you can see that we have a changing of the guard. AT&T is now up to 92 cents, while Maine is still at the bottom at $1.96. Now the end of week 4, the 11th, AG&C now holds the number 1 spot. As you can see, it's $1.06, and Maine is still trailing. But with that being said, this would be the end of week 4. Again, like I said, these are just going to be little shorts, just to try to get you a little bit of an idea of where I'm at. Other than that, if you like what you've seen so far, just go ahead and, again, hit that subscribe button send me a like and if you're looking to get into Robinhood, i have that link down below if you click it you get a free stock i get a free stock and i use that stock towards building this portfolio i'll be putting on another video soon till then i wish you the best of luck on your path to gradual financial freedom